today, Christmas message sermon title, Seek Only the Lord. Today, verses Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. Doon ay may mga pastol na nasa parang at nagpapantay ng kanilang mga tupa ng gabing iyon. At tumayo sa harapan nila ang isang anghel ng Panginoon at nagliwanag sa kapaligiran nila ang kaluwalhatian ng Panginoon. Kanon na lamang ang kanilang pagkatakot. Unit, sinabi sa kanila ng anghel, huwag kayong matakot, ako'y medalang magandang balita para sa inyo na magtudulog ng malaking kagalakan sa lahat ng tao. Isinilang sa inyo na yon sa bayan ni David ang takapanglitas ang Kristong Panginoon. Ito ang inyong palatadaan. Magtatapuan ninyo ang isang sanggo na babalot ng lampin at nakahiga sa isang sapsaban. Biglang lumitaw kasama ng anghel ang isang malaking hukbo ng mga anghel sa kalagitan. Sila'y napupuri sa Diyos at umaawit. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan at sa lupa ay kapayapaan sa mga taong kinaluluktan niya. When Mary conceived Jesus, Kaisa Augustus, the Roman emperor, conducted a census. Thus Mary and Joseph went to their hometown Bethlehem for their registration. At the time, there was no bacon room in the inn, so she gave a verse to Jesus and laid him in a manger. Satan ruled over many souls in the Celtic world. Thus Jesus, the main character of Christmas, came to such a chaotic world. Number one, nativity was the event beyond the human's realm. Luke chapter 1, verse 35a says, and the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The angel informed Mary that she became pregnant with her help of the Holy Spirit. Science cannot explain it. Only those whom God saved can understand its truth. That is why the virgin birth is called the mystery, the mystery book. When we are connected with the Lord spiritual, we can believe the virgin birth and understand God's mystery on some level. The virgin birth means that our Savior Christ was conceived by the Holy Spirit help through the Virgin Mary when God opened our spiritual eye, He led us to believe in the Virgin birth. When God opened our eye spiritually, God helped us understand the Hebrew chapter 11 verse says that faith is the conviction of things not seen being conceived by the Holy Spirit is an event beyond the extent of human knowledge. Likewise, our religion and the thought are not enough to understand everything in our lives. We face many struggles beyond our competence and ability. In contrast, God can solve every problem. So only He can help us overcome our struggles when we believe in this 
might God and seek His help. We can have more chance to experience many miracles indescribable with reason. We can be the primary witness of God's miracle. Number two, Emmanuel pays. Matthew chapter 1 verse 22, 23 says, Magdelihi ang isang beren at magsisilang ng isang sanggo na lalaki at tatawagin nito Emmanuel. Ang kahulungan nito'y kasama natin ang Diyos. I stayed too long at the hospital due to COVID-19. At the time, I hoped for two things. Number one, hope was immediate discharge and the number two was God's presence in my peace place. However, when I experienced the Holy Spirit grace, I changed order of my hope. First, I pursued God's presence. Second, I prayed for my discharge. When my number one hope was my discharge, I could not have peace in my mind. However, when I focus on God's presence, I upon His presence and rest hold my inner peace. Regardless of God's presence, we need to face our suffering and hardship. However, God indeed Strengthen us enough to overcome our problems when God is with us. He makes the spiritual and visual to us and help us assure Jesus Christ as the Lord. When God dwells in us, He transforms our heart towards Him and pray to Him since early. My lovely members, Jesus came to this world to save us from our sin. He did not forsake us like orphans. He came to save us and to strengthen us against our suffering. Even now, He is with us. Also, he came to this world to empower Christ, Christ to preach the gospel to unbelievers and proclaim the Lord Jesus to the world. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6 said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. We should proclaim this statement and reveal it in our lives. Christmas should be the season to resolve our Emmanuel pace as well celebrate Jesus' birth. The wise man and the shepherd worshiped Jesus, and the disciples followed Jesus. All of them met Jesus and experienced a transformation in their lives. I pray all of us to worship Jesus and seek only Him on this Christmas. Number three, true peace from God. Now we are facing on new normal life that we have not experienced before because of COVID-19. Also, we might be threatened by a more harmful virus than COVID-19. All of us suffer from broken heart and the lack of peace in our mind. Who can heal our heart and mind? Only our Lord can nest all them and give us true peace. Once we lose our inner peace in 
will feel pain as if we are in hell. What do we need most at this moment? That is peace coming from the Lord. Also, we should live our lives for the Lord and the soul, but depend on Him. Though we can learn about walking, walking with God in darkness. My love, remember, Jesus was conceived in the Virgin Mary by the Holy Spirit. I pray you to believe in this birth, virgin birth and encounter our Lord deeply on this Christmas book. In summary, Jung title, Seek Only the Lord. Number one, Nativity was the event beyond the human's realm. Number two, Emmanuel faith, number three, true peace from Jesus. Conclusion. When Jesus was born, Herod issued decreed to kill all newborn male babies. However, the wise men came to Jesus by following the star and worshiped him. In any circumstance, we should seek Jesus Christ. Then we will see how he guides us to the path of life, not the way of death. The Lord was born and laid in a manger, not on the throne. However, I proclaim him as my savior, having all the authority over the world. Today is the best day to meet the Lord, my savior. Hallelujah. Let's pray. I seek only my Lord and my savior, who came to the world for my salvation. I depend on only my Lord. I pray you to walk with us all the time, forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.